everyone, my name is Brugley, and today I'm going to be explaining another Backrooms level for you all. Now this one is called Backrooms level 188.8, or the Flooded Windows. And as you can tell, this is a sub-level of the original level 188, but for some reason, this area has collided with the pool rooms. And that's not the only crazy thing about it though, trust me. It gets, uh, uh, ridiculous. Thank you for watching, and let's get into the explanation, shall we? So, Backrooms Level 188.8 is classified as a Class 4 difficulty, and is very unsafe and unsecure, with a high entity count, unlike the pool rooms or the original Level 188. This place is dangerous. The entire sublevel takes place mainly around this open space with windows and hallways around it, which is very similar to the original level 188 picture. But the main difference is that this level is covered in water, and this water has a nasty secret. There is a disease that hides in the H2O in this level. It is nicknamed the Hydrolytus Plague, and it is very dangerous to humans. It can cause you to literally fall apart after consuming it or long exposure in it, and it's dangerous because the symptoms start out just like a minor sickness. You know, you got a headache, maybe some cold chills, that kind of thing, but then it develops into a full-on crazy disease, like flesh falling off of you and that kind of stuff. You get the picture. But as I mentioned, the actual level is the pool rooms and level 188 combined. So the level has 188's windows and hallways and walls with the pool rooms tile texture on it and the water of the pool rooms as well. Now the floor throughout this sublevel is either fully covered in water or it's partially covered in the water. And the places that are partially covered are very slippery, which makes them still dangerous because you could fall and hurt yourself or something. And then the places that are fully covered in water have the disease in them. So everywhere is dangerous. And just like both of its main levels, this sublevel has a labyrinth of hallways that surround it. And it is in these hallways where you're going to have to be really careful because there are a ton of doors throughout all of them. And these are not just normal doors, they're entities. And if you haven't heard of what these things are, I'll explain real quick. Doors are living creatures that disguise themselves as rooms with fake opening doorways. Now these entities leave their doors cracked open so people will walk into them. And once someone does walk into them, they'll notice that they're inside of a creature. That's right, the entire room is a fleshy and muscular nasty mouth. And that's when the acid starts to come out of this thing's tongue. Then you'll be digested. So, uh, yeah, don't go through any doors on the sublevel. On top of door entities, there are also a ton of window entities, which are fake windows that will suck you into them if you get too close. No one knows where you go if a window entity takes you, so it's best to just not go near them, please. Some of the hallways in this sublevel shrink down to be very claustrophobic and tight. And some of them can randomly get deep with water without warning. And it's in these spots where everything gets darker. The deeper you travel around the labyrinth of halls, the smaller, cramped, and more dark the hallways get. And the more entity infested everything gets as well. There's also an event that happens on this level sometimes called the Flash Flood Event. And this is where all the water in this entire sublevel rises up pretty fast without warning. And it'll rise up until the entire level from the floor to the roof. And every hallway, every room, every corridor is filled to the brim with water. So you'll not make it out if you stay in the level during this event. You're going to have to swim or run away as fast as you can to find an exit. And these exits are pretty hard to find. There are two main ones, in fact, and the first one is wandering out in those hallways as far as you can until it eventually starts to gradually change back into level 188. And you'll notice when it does because the water will start to dry up and the hallways will start to get bigger and you won't hear any water or anything like that. But that one's pretty hard since the hallways do get dangerous the further you go into them. But the other exit is to try to find a place to no clip to be sent back to the pool rooms, which is an easier exit, but at the same time, there is not one concrete place to no clip. It's pretty random. 
So good luck escaping. I think this level hybrid is pretty cool. I enjoy how they merge two different levels into one, and it kind of makes the back room seem even crazier and more mysterious to me, especially because that leaves the question, how many other levels have combined? Is there a level zero and a level 666 level combined somewhere? Is there a level zero and level exclamation mark somewhere? Pretty interesting to think about. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching till the end. Make sure to go check out any links below you might need, like my Twitter or my other two channels, if you want more of me. Also, go down to the comments and comment Brooklyn time. And if you comment that, I'll try to throw a heart at your comment. Now, I can't get everybody because there are literally hundreds of comments on each video, but I'll try to get everybody I see. And don't forget to drop a sub to the Brugly channel because as all of you know by now, I am going to be buying the full Backrooms themed outfit when I hit 500,000. And lads, we are almost there. We are literally closing in on the final push to 500k. I am so grateful for all of you. Thank you so so much for this opportunity thank you for subscribing to me uh 500 000. that is half a million people subscribed uh that's that is utterly insane i can't even thank you all enough thank you so much when i get there i'm gonna be buying that backrooms outfit i'm gonna be making videos in it. i'm gonna be going out in public in it vlogging in it doing a photo shoot in it it's gonna be a grand time and if you want to see that happen drop a sub it's free you can unsub at any time when I get to 500k, thank you for your support of the channel. Thank you for watching the videos, subbing, liking, commenting. Thank you for interacting. Y'all are awesome. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video.